Greetings of the day. I am Dr. Ronika Parmar and I welcome you all to today's presentation on complementary metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor that is CMOS. Today we will be discussing a type of integrated circuit technology called as CMOS technology. CMOS is a digital circuit design technique that has become the dominant technology in the semiconductor industry due to its low power consumption and high integration density. This is the outline for today's class. We will be discussing about CMOS circuit basics. Then we will discuss about CMOS power supply logic levels followed by transistor switching characteristics transistor digital behavior we'll also discuss about mosfet terminal voltage mosfet terminal voltages examples and the switching level boolean logic we'll discuss about cmos push pull logic the operation of this push pull logic the creating logic gates using CMOS design and NMOS logic gates. So let's start with CMOS circuit basics. In CMOS technology, two types of MOSFETs are used to create logic functions. MOSFETs stands for metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. There are two types of MOSFETs. First one is NMOS and second one is PMOS. NMOS is a N-channel metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. It is a type of MOSFET that uses an n-type semiconductor channel. It has three terminals, gate terminal, source terminal and drain terminal. When a voltage is applied to the gate, it attracts electron towards the channel, creating a path for current flow between source to drain. Here we can see that the channel is formed of electron. Hence we called it as N MOS. The threshold voltage is the minimum voltage required on the gate to turn on the transistor. The drain current ID increases exponentially with increasing gate voltage. It is also referred as VGS and above threshold voltage due to exponential dependency of MOSFET the characteristics on gate voltage. The threshold voltage is also known as VTH. Now let's discuss about PMOS. So a PMOS is a P-channel metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. It is a type of MOSFET that uses a P-type semiconductor channel. It also has three terminals, same as the NMOS, that is the gate, source and drain. When a voltage is applied on the gate, it repels holes from the channel creating a path for current flow between the source and drain. The threshold voltage VTH is the minimum voltage required on the gate to turn on the transistor. The drain current depends upon the gate voltage. No current flows below the threshold voltage. Once the threshold voltage is reached, the drain current 
start flowing in the circuit. The complementary nature of CMOS comes from using both NMOS and PMOS in a single circuit to create logic functions. By combining these two types of MOS, we can create logic gates such as inverters, AND gate, OR gate, NAND gate using only transistors that is NMOS and PMOS. In a CMOS logic, we have to combine the NMOS as well as PMOS in a single circuit. So, this figure shows the representation of NMOS and PMOS. The NMOS has same terminals as PMOS that are gate, drain and source. The difference in the symbol between the NMOS and PMOS is the bubble. You can see that there is no bubble in the NMOS diagram while we can see a bubble is present in the PMOS as represented along the gate terminal. Now let's discuss about the CMOS power supply. A typical power supply configuration uses a single power supply voltage that is VDD with reference to the ground. This means that all the components in the circuits are powered by a single voltage source and the ground reference is used as a common reference point for all the signals in the circuit. The typical range of VDD in CMOS circuit varies from 5 volts to 1 volt depending upon the specific application and it is also dependent upon the technology node. Lower VDD voltage are becoming increasingly popular due to their lower power consumption, reduced heat dissipation and improved reliability compared to the higher VDD voltage. So here we can see a diagram and we can see the CMOS circuit is supplied with a VDD and a equivalent circuit to this is shown. Now let's discuss about the logic levels. All voltage between 0 volts and VDD. So logic 1 represents VDD and logic 0 represents ground or it also represents as 0 volt. Now discussing about logic 1, logic 1 is the highest power supply of the circuit. It varies along with the circuit as we have seen that the power supply could be from 5 volts to 1 volt. So as the application changes, the value of this, this VDD will also change as we are changing the application. As per the change in the application, the VDD supply will be changing. Hence, we can specify that it is the highest voltage level of the circuit and it is represented as VDD. So, for a certain range up to which the voltage is considered as logic 1 and there is a certain range below which the voltage is considered as logic 0 and the range between which the, the, the value is not considered as logic 1 or logic row or logic low is defined as the undefined range. Transistor switching characteristics. 
let's discuss about the switching behavior of nmos let's say the transistor is on when v in is greater than the threshold voltage so here v in is the input voltage and vtn is the threshold voltage for nmos okay so input voltage that means the voltage we are applying at the gate terminal so we can write that v in is equals to vgs as the input is provided from the gate terminal we can write it as v in also so when the transistor is on that is the condition when v in is greater than the threshold voltage hence the transistor will be conducting in this phase so it will act as a closed switch so at times this mosfets can be used as switch also when the transistor is off that is the condition when the input voltage is less than the threshold voltage here when we say input voltage we refer to the gate voltage it is represented as vgs so if the gate voltage is less than the threshold voltage the transistor will behave as a open switch and it will not conduct any current so we can say that when the input is greater than the threshold voltage in the case of a nmos it acts as a closed switch and in the case of the nmos for the input less than the threshold voltage the transistor will act as an open switch now let's discuss the switching behavior of pmos it is vice versa of the nmos it is just opposite to the nmos now here when the transistor is on that is when it acts like a closed switch that is the condition when v in is less than vdd minus vtp and here we take as absolute value of vtp what is vtp here vtp is the threshold voltage and p represents we are discussing about pmos so vtp represents the threshold voltage of pmos v in is the reference to ground that is v in is equals to vdd minus vsg that is source to gate so v in is equals to vdd minus vsg so the transistor is on only in the condition when v in is less than vdd minus the absolute value of the threshold voltage the transistor is off when v in is greater than the vdd minus absolute voltage of vtp when we say the transistor is off that means it is not conducting any current and it is behaving like a open switch so in nmos the behavior of a transistor in response to an input voltage v in can be described as follows when v in is at logic high that is logic 1 
the transistor is on and the drain voltage V out is approximately zero. This is because when V in is at a logical high, it creates a strong electric field that attracts electron to the channel region of the transistor. These electrons then flow through the channel causing a low voltage output at the drain terminal that is V out. On the other hand, when V in is at a logic low that is at logic zero, the transistor is turned off and V out has a specific value that depends upon the power supply that is the VDD. This is because V in is at logic low. There are no electrons in the channel region of the transistor which causes a high resistance between source and drain terminals. As a result, V out takes on a value determined by VDD and the internal resistance of the transistor. Similarly, in PMOS, P-channel metal oxide semiconductor technology, the behavior of a transistor in response to the input voltage V in can be described as follows. When V in is at logic high, the transistor is turned off and output has a specific value that depends on the power supply voltage VDD. This is because when V in is at logic high, it creates a weak electric field that repels electron from the channel region of the transistor. As a result, the drain terminal of the transistor becomes disconnected from the source terminal, causing V out to take on a value determined by the VDD and internal resistance. On the other hand, when V in is at logic low, that is at logic zero, the transistor is turned on and V out is approximately zero. This is because when V in is at logic low, it creates a strong electric field that attracts electron to the channel region of the transistor. These electrons then flow through the channel causing a low voltage V out at the drain terminal. So source is at lowest potential for NMOS and highest potential for PMOS. What does it mean? So we are making a CBOS circuit design. So the source of the NMOS will be connected to the ground if ground is the lowest potential. It if, has, if it has negative value then it will be connected to the negative value. So always remember for a NMOS source will be connected to the lowest potential and for a PMOS source will always be connected to the highest potential. Here highest potential is VDD. Another thing to remember is when V in is logic low, NMOS is off and PMOS is on and whenever V in is logic high, NMOS is on and PMOS is off. So at a time only one 
ट्रांजिस्टर इधर पी मॉस और एन मॉस विल बी वर्किंग इन अ डिजिटल वोल्टेज लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉसफेट टर्मिनल वोल्टेज हाउ डू यू फाइंड द टर्मिनल वोल्टेज इफ अदर टू आर नोन फॉर अ एन मॉस सो लेट्स डिस्कस केस वन इफ गेट वोल्टेज इज ग्रेटर देन दी वी इन प्लस थ्रेश होल्ड देन वी आउट विल बी इक्वल्स टू वी इन हियर वी इन इज द सोर्स ऑफ एन मॉस विथ एंड विल पास वी इन टू वी आउट सेकेंड केस इफ द गेट वोल्टेज इज लेस देन v in plus threshold voltage then v out will be equals to vg minus vtn vtn is the threshold voltage for n mos here v not is the source so the n mos output is limited for n mos maximum v not is equals to vgs minus the threshold voltage and let's discuss how will you find one terminal if the other two terminals are known for the pmos so for the pmos the case is the same if the gate voltage is less than v in minus the threshold voltage here v in is the source so pmos will pass v in to the output if the gate voltage is greater than the input minus the threshold then v out will be equals to vg plus the absolute value of the threshold voltage here v out is the source so pmos output is limited so there are some rules for n mos so case 1 if the vgs is greater than v in plus vtn then v out will be equals to the input voltage and if the gate voltage is less than v input plus the threshold then v out will be equals to vg minus vtn now let's discuss about the switch level boolean logic the logic gates are created by using the sets of control switches the characteristics of a set high switch that is when a is equals to 0 so here we can see n mos acts like a a set high switch for the conditions a is equals to 0 and a is equals to 1 as represented in the diagram similarly are the characteristics for the p mos now let's discuss about what is this push pull logic so push pull network means that we have a logic low network at the upper end and a logic i a logic high network at the lower end so the upper part will consist of the p mos and the lower part will consist of the n mos and will take output from the drain terminal so let's discuss about the operation for a given logic function one logic network either p or n produces the logic function and pushes or pulls the output the uh, the other network act as a load to complete the circuit but it is turned off by the logic inputs since only one network is active there is no static current between vdd and ground and zero static power dissipation so let's discuss by creating a logic gate in cmos all standard boolean logic function like inverter nand nor can be produced using this cmos network it has a pull up network and a pull down network so there are some rules for the construction of this logic gates 
सो हियर वी यूज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एन मॉस और पी मॉस पेयर फॉर ईच इनपुट वी कनेक्ट द आउटपुट टू वी डी डी थ्रू अ पी मॉस ट्रांजिस्टर वी कनेक्ट द आउटपुट टू ग्राउंड थ्रू एन मॉस ट्रांजिस्टर इन सिक्योर द आउटपुट इज ऑलवेज हाई और लो सी मॉस प्रोड्यूसेज इन्वर्टिंग लॉजिक दैट इज द सी मॉस गेट आर बेस्ड ऑन द इन्वर्टर आउटपुट्स आर ऑलवेज इन्वर्टेड लॉजिक फंक्शन दैट इज नॉर नैंड रेदर और और एंड सो हियर इज अ एन मॉस लॉजिक गेट अज्यूम अ रेजिस्टिव लोड टू वी डी टी एंड एन मॉस स्विचेस पुल्स आउटपुट लोड बेस्ड ऑन द इनपुट सो इफ द इनपुट इज लॉजिक जीरो द एन मॉस विल एक्ट एज ओपन स्विच एंड इफ इट इज लॉजिक वन इट विल एक्ट एज अ क्लोज स्विच सो हियर इज एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर एन मॉस नॉर एंड एन मॉस नैंड सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर the pull up network consists of the n mos and the pull down network is always consisting of the n mos so there will be a p mos circuit in the upper side and a n mos circuit in the lower side and same value will be given for the inputs of the n mos and the p mos so this is all about the cmos circuit technology thank you for attending the lecture